Welcome back to the Printosaurus. Today we're doing part two of our Bamboo Studio six tips and tricks. First up is first layer filament sequence. The idea behind this is by selecting your filament sequence from light to dark, you're going to end up with sharper lines, a better color transition. So we're going to do that with our light box here we're creating. You click on the gear on the build plate once that loads, you're going to hit uh, first layer filament sequence at the bottom and go customize. And then you just simply drag these in order from light to dark and click OK. And then you'll see here our finished result. Everything looks sharp. Next on our list is the speed settings that you can adjust on the fly. So in your studio or handy app or on the X1 screen, look for that 100%. Do you have silent, standard, sport, and ludicrous? This one here is the silent mode. It goes down to 50%. Sport goes up to 124%. And as you can see here, it's a bit faster. Everything still looks pretty decent most times. And last on the list is our ludicrous speed. That goes up to 166%. It looks really cool, the printer moves really fast, but that's going to lead into our next tip, which is going to be ludicrous speed. It's definitely a bad idea. A lot of it layer adhesion issues, just overall uh, flow control issues. Firmware update issues. Let's roll it back, that's step four. So in your handy app, if you look for those little three lines at the top of the screen, select firmware version on the next screen, and then you will see at the bottom of that, you can downgrade versions. Arrange all objects is number five. So this one's just kind of a quick tip. So say you're doing multiple objects on a build plate or you're cloning objects, they kind of all cluster together. And this one, you can do something as simple as uh, selecting them and doing a shift A, and that will put them in an organized fashion, or you can click on that little icon up at the top and you can actually auto rotate. You can avoid extrusion calibration regions and lines. And that just organizes everything nicely on the desktop of your build plate. Variable layer height. This is probably a great, great tip. So say you have an object that's got some curves to it and you're printing and things just aren't coming out as smooth as you want. So as you can see here, you can see a little bit of ledges there on the top. So let's fix that. So to do that, select your object, and then you will see what looks like a couple of lines in the middle of the toolbar. You can, here you'll see quality and speed. So if you go all the way to speed, you're gonna still end up with that jagged kind of look. And this is the adaptive setting that we're playing with. And if you drag it all the way to quality, it's going to uh, print a lot longer. It's gonna take longer, but you're gonna get something really, really smooth transition line. What this does is it takes out a lot of those square edges and kind of rounds things off. So experiment with this one, try it out. Uh, send me some comments, tips. Um, things that you found that work pretty well, or maybe there's something you want me to print, feel free to comment that. I'd love to hear from you guys.